What's going on everybody? Back with another iconic video. Totally forgot I had this headlight still on. Um, but anyway, make sure it's off. Anyway, so, um, once you guys are seeing this video, I'll probably already drop the video about this thing right here. Freaking love it. Um, I'm obviously gonna do a, a you know, three or four month update video on it. You know, I'm just kind of testing it out right now. But anyway, for this video, we actually have a C8 Corvette grill cover. So for all you guys out there, does not know what that is. And if you're searching this, and if you stumble upon this page and it's your first time, please give us a like, share, and even comment. You know, if you like this method I used. Um, we're steadily growing. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all my OG subscribers. Um, yeah, just keep keep at it, guys. And I'm going to keep at it, too. So, right here, we got this blacked out C8. I mean, blacked out C6 uh, Corvette. And we will be stalling the grill covers right here. So, this is the grill. And a lot of people like this style. So, it's going to go in like that. Now, and don't, don't even look at the, the vinyl, man. I'm um, shooting a video right now um, for the social media, so it's gonna be it's gonna be the complete opposite way. You guys go to our social media pages, check that video out. I may or may not be adding these vinyl stripes. Um, I struggled a little bit with this one, this yellow one. I've got it to where I need to cut it, but this red one right here, man, is giving me a hassle, man. This. This is kind of one of the reasons why I don't like to do um, vinyl jobs. So um, if it's a small vinyl job, yeah, cool, whatever. That's cool. This is technically a small vinyl job. It's just the curvature of the body. I'm trying to go over that curve is, is pretty tough for like people who don't you know, usually do vinyl. So if you're just working on a flat panel, pretty easy. I know the steps, I got the tools. I got a pretty good knowledge of it, never took a class, but that's a whole nother video. Anyway, you guys can already see that we got the other side in. And while I was making that, you know, reel, I was like, damn, let me shoot a YouTube video on this. So we've got the other one in, pretty good. I'm kind of pressing on it kind of hard but not really because it's, you know, fresh in there. So I'll show you guys the tips and the tricks that I use. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, obviously we've got the grill color covers. Uh, we get extra pieces. We get an extra uh, adhesion promoter, which is good. And we get an extra alcohol wipe. So as you can see, I pretty much just used the first one. So I got another adhesion promoter I can use. This is kind of a spongy material, so definitely have on gloves. Or if you're good with the Jimmy and you know how to rip this off and squeeze your way to the top, you should be straight. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that, but anyway, these are the directions right here, uh, made by this company, whatever that is. Um, and so, Basically, you're supposed to alcohol the inside of the grill area. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. And then you also want to take off the 3M adhesive tape. Um, tap a little bit of this adhesion promoter on there and then pull it through. Now, one thing that I did differently that these instructions say is that you can actually jack this car up, remove the wheel. Uh, let me throw my light real quick remove the wheel, pop out these tabs right here, and then obviously, you know, it goes to the back. Remove this, and then this way you can kind of push it up in there, and you kind of want to hold it for like, I don't know, five seconds or five minutes or so. I kind of held it on there for around 20 seconds, but this is the method I use. So, if you guys are out there driving a C8 Corvette, I mean, C6, I, I keep saying C8 because I want one so, so bad. But um, we're going to wait on that one. But if you guys are driving 
a C6 Corvette, then you guys will want to use this method if you've got zip ties around. So grab yourselves two zip ties. They don't have to be long. These are pretty much medium length, I would say. And this is really much all you will need to add extra to the kit that it comes with. Now, from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the alcohol pad and we're gonna wipe the inside of the grill where we can't see. So let's get into it. All right, so I usually wear gloves, but I'm waiting for my gloves to come back in the mail. I got pushed back. Amazon's been tripping lately, but anyway, we've got our alcohol pad. Right here. And I'm gonna stick it inside. Kind of spread these panels back a little bit. And rub it. Switch fingers for this top section because it's a little tight to get into. Find that this is the best way to do. Don't ask me how I know these hand movements. I'm really not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna flip it so to the other side we didn't use yes I'm right-handed and this is fun for me <laughs> so now that we got that cleaned up you can actually flip it if you want just to double check any uh any areas you want. As you can see, the adhesive is not that long, but I'm just double checking. Obviously you can use isopropyl alcohol on a rag and you can get it, you can get down that way. So, all right, now that we got these, you kind of want to pull out your blade or your fingernail if you got a good fingernail. I do, but I tend to find these things are pretty hard to uh, grab. So we're gonna do a little separation on each, so. You can um, get it out and then see like these things, man. I kinda wish they helped you out with this because it's, like, it's almost like you gotta find a spot because you don't wanna dig into the foam adhesive that's there, which I just did. As you can see, we got that one off, that one off, and hmm, check that out. This one's already coming off. All right, now we got that out. Set your knife or your razor blade or whatever you got to the side. Make sure that this is the correct way. So this one obviously is a double layer, as you can see. Obviously, it's going to come and tuck right behind here, and then this is the flat side. So. If you have it up like here, it won't work. It's gonna look weird. So just make sure you rotate it. You can even pop it in there and check it out if you wanted to. But this is the next step right here. So um, we're gonna feed this through the wire, through the cage or whatever. And we're gonna come out right here. Once we do that, we are actually gonna lock this in place. Don't gotta go too crazy on it now. Then you just grab the other one. Oops, grab the other one. Feed that through the bottom. Oops, feed that through the bottom. And we're gonna lock that in place. Now, once we get those locked in place, you see how I don't even have it too looped up. Let me bag out real quick. I don't have it too looped up. So that's perfect. I should have been in this view the whole time. What the hell, man? Come on, man. All right, so next, we're gonna take this out. Fold that down like so. So remember I was telling you guys about this adhesion promoter. So I'm gonna take these down just a bit. Oof. Might have to peel this one back with the knife a little bit. Oh, nope. Man. It's 
Sorry you guys have seen me struggle. It's a struggle sometimes, man. It makes me wonder how I keep them going under. Uh, 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 uh. So pump this up a little bit. Shake it around. Make sure the solution gets on the on the uh, sponge. This is what it looks like. It's a spongy thingy. This probably still has more on there. But it hit the air already. So we're going to just use the other one. Sponge, 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 sponge. Make sure that sponge gets down to the bottom. Rip that bad boy out of there. Let me set this down real quick. Rip that bad boy out of there like so. Yeah, work your magic. With the real thing, this would be faster. Wink, wink. You can see that it's in there. I'm not gonna touch it. Like I said, my gloves aren't here, so I'm gonna move it around with my fingernails. Uh, come on, work with me. Get all those juices flowing. I'm gonna pick my cage back up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and rip these off. And if I ain't said it before, Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, guys. I'm really giving you free game on this. C8, C6, C7, whatever you want to do, because I'm pretty sure this video can probably go for all types. You can see that promoter getting on there going crazy. Going crazy. And side note, I've been... I've been missing literally every single college football game, man. I'm pissed. Pissed, guys. All right, so set that off to the side. Now, here's the fun part. Obviously, don't put your hands in the promoter. Try not to, but you also got to try not to scrape up the, the vet and fit everything in there. So we're going to go bottom first. Because who doesn't like to start from the back? We're going to stick that in there. Like I said, try not to touch nothing. Slide that in place. Ugh, that was scary. Now that we got it in there, we're just going to hold these. Hold that for a good. And make sure it's... Ooh, let me make sure... That's lined up. Okay, now it's lined up. Now we're going to hold it. And while I'm holding it for five minutes or so, I'm going to push in these panels with my thumbs. Now, if you have girl hands, this might hurt. Push these panels. So we got to make sure they're sticky. See how that one, I pushed it in. Now it's there in place. Hopefully you guys saw that because like right here, it was like right here before. So I just pushed in the panel with my thumbs. Now it's stuck to the adhesion and the promoter. So now we're going to pull, pull, pull. And I'm not like trying to yank it, but we're pulling it towards each other. Just pushing down those panels with our thumbs, holding the zip ties with our finger. And I literally just came up with this method. I was like, hmm, there's got to be a better way, easier way. I'm not trying to jack this vet up and take off a wheel and pop some panels. No, no. Say, like, today we want that fast money, baby. We got to get this done quick. But that vinyl stripes, oof. I might have to pass on that, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It's kind of eating up my time, eating up my day. But just remember, okay, boom. Let it go. Tap on it looking hold on let me get back to focus looking good i'm gonna pull on it just a little bit longer i don't know if that was five minutes or not I'm not counting i just told you guys five minutes so i won't get nobody in the comments hey man you see five minutes dude it fell dude it fell out of there i can't get to it all right and guys please like share and subscribe Go give me a thumbs up on this video or some video. I'm trying to get some traction here, man. And really, honestly, 
I've been honestly thinking. Oh, gosh. What do you guys even think about that? No stripes on it. Like, the whole car is, like, black. My customer said he might, he might like them. He might think it's cool. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. I don't even know if I like them. Would you guys do something to a car that you didn't like? Matter of fact, that's a good question. Would you guys do something to a car that you didn't even like on that car? Even though it's not your car, but you don't think it's cool or nothing. Would you guys do that and just let the customer be? And just, hey, whatever the customer says. I'm the type to do that for sure. If they want to do it, go ahead. But I honestly don't want to sit here and struggle with this vinyl and like take thousands of years. I still got to finish this car and some other cars. And it's probably already like two, two o'clock or something. But anyway, we just grab some scissors. Like so, oh yeah, and real quick, I did these bad boys too. Not too much to make a video on this. I could have obviously put them together, but yeah. I replaced the uh, vet emblem in the front. And in the back, check that out. Now these, obviously, they were um, ordered by the customer and they were um, 3M tape too. But check out, this is a C6, so check out like their emblem. Like this was the emblem before. Obviously this part fell out, but it was chromed out. But now the, the black version looks real good. Matches up with the tail light tint we did. Um, side marker tint. Um, oh, yo, we also did the calibers yellow on this one. But yeah, this was the old, old M right here. But check out the back. Like, I found it odd that they actually, like, kind of bolted it and, like, had holes in the panel for it. Cause I swear most of them nowadays are just 3M. They have this black adhesive on there from the factory, but these are actually like sat inside, you know, the hood and the trunk, which was kind of weird to me, but hey, those holes are empty now and I just 3M that bad boy. But hey, check this out. We're back, back in action. Okay, now that we got those on here, get that one more tug. And then it's simple after this, guys. Real simple. Don't wash your car. Don't do nothing crazy. Don't go mudding. Don't try to show out at a car meet. Nothing like that. Don't press on these uh, vents too much. Just let the car sit for at least three days. And this is not manufacturer, you know, um, instructions. This is just me being me, just saying, hey, you know, just give your car time to heal. Okay, let me, uh, yep, and there you have it. Check it out, looks good. Looks good. But, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys like this video, like I said before, and in the middle of the video. Subscribe, share, comment, and check out some of my other videos. We've got some cool videos coming out. I honestly have been thinking about um, upgrading some of my equipment here. Still going to rock with the tripod, but I've been thinking about upgrading some of my equipment here. I'm obviously going to do another one on this, another video on this bad boy right here. And then I've actually been thinking about getting uh, like a DJI mic throwing it in my shirt so in some of my other detailing videos or hopefully soon my window tent videos once we get those up and rolling what I'm planning to do is kind of like actually talk while I'm doing it and I may even think about doing some vlogging next year just like a day in a life and I'll do seasons with episodes and stuff and I, I'll try not to make it too boring for you guys because Sometimes that's why I don't put out videos because I don't know if you guys want to see me, you know, 
extracting seats and carpets every video all the time like i will have a thousand videos up right now legit because um i do i roughly i'm gonna just throw a number out there it's definitely probably more nah it's definitely more than that uh i'm gonna have to say i do about 80 cars a month i'm gonna just say 80 cars a month which is definitely more than that but I don't know if you guys want to see 80 videos of me cleaning cars, washing cars, because I'm using literally the same technique all the time, from step A to Z. Every single time I'm using the same technique. So I don't know if you guys want to see me doing that every video. So that's why I try to like mix it up, uh, do stuff like this, do rap videos, and just cool things like that. So. If you like any of those things, check out the other videos, man. I'll be sure to like drop one right next to my face right here. Maybe one or two of them, I don't know. But anyway, see you guys on the next one. Peace.